uh, brothers and sisters, subhanallah, uh, Ramadan, Ramadan is coming. You have been listening to, uh, you know, from a couple of weeks, how to prepare ourselves from next Ramadan, coming Ramadan, which is coming after uh, a week or so. Uh, this Ramadan itself, getting a Ramadan in your life is a big ni'mah. That's why just a few days remain uh, a week or a, a bit more. Uh, there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee. Subhanallah. Two days ago, one of the brothers died. was very close to us. He will be not missing his tafsir lesson every Saturday, coming and becoming very close to the to the member. Just suddenly, a stroke within ten minutes before ambulance comes, he's gone. So this is so there is no guarantee. So we have to pray to Allah, oh Allah give us, extend our life a little bit, so at least we get next Ramadan Allah. Since as scholars has, has been praying, have been praying for six months before Ramadan to get next Ramadan. We have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ramadan is a month. It's so honored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a special month. Don't consider it like any other month. Because this is the month in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, 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 the, 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 the responsibility of Risalah. He's appointed by Allah and given him the responsibility as a messenger in this month. And the first revelation of the Quran happened in this month. In this month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given victory in the battle of Badr to the Muslims. In this month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given victory to the Muslims to conquer Makkah. So this is a month Allah has chosen for us to do the special ibadah for him. So we cannot consider it is like any other month. And to get another Ramadan, how virtuous it is, how big ni'mah it is, how big favor from Allah. You can get it from the hadith narrated by Talha ibn Ubaidillah radiallahu anhu. He said, two of the men came from outside Medina to Medina and took shahada with the bay'ah in the hand of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and both of them had started practicing. But one of them was very serious than other brother. The serious brother, alhamdulillah, practicing and then he went to participate in jihad in the battlefield and he became even shaheed. So the other brother, he was, alhamdulillah, uh, he didn't participate in jihad, neither became shaheed. After one year of normal ibadah, he died. Then Talha radiallahu anhu said, I have seen a dream that I am in front of the gate of Jannah, gate of paradise. And beside me is two, these two brothers. One of them became shaheed, other one having a normal death. Both of them. Then the, somebody came from Jannah paradise to open the door and to take one of them to Jannah. He took first the brother who died after one year with normal death. He is taken to the Jannah first. And then after that, the man came again from Jannah and took the Shahid brothers to Jannah. The one who became murdered, he is taken to Jannah. I was very Surprised, shocked. What is? Shahid should be called first, not the other brother. Then he, when he shared with other companions, Sahaba, they shared with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Then he said, "Are you very surprised? Are you shocked? Did not he get another Ramadan after him? Did not he get another Ramadan after him and do so much salah, many sujood, rakaat, all this?" opportunity that make he, between him and Shahid brothers is a distance you know between heaven and sky between heaven and earth you can imagine getting another year of life and getting another Ramadan itself is a ni'mah so this hayat is ni'mah to stay alive is ni'mah because you have opportunity of worshipping Allah. 
So Hayat is near that's why in Hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say he said five things, take advantage of five things before other five things comes to take away. One of the important thing is Wahayataka Kabla Mautika. Your life before the death comes to you. Anyone is dying. Anyone is dying. What is his most important plea to Allah? Prayer to Allah? Appeal to Allah? What is it? Oh Allah, give me a little bit of time. Even though if he is right as one, you will say, oh Allah, I probably have committed so much sin. Let me Allah do a sincere tawbah and do a little bit more and giving more charity. Then Allah take me. And he's not practicing the sinner, of course, will be praying more. Even non Muslim will be crying to Allah, I'll extend my life. So that life is ni'mah. We only appreciate when death will come. And getting this Ramadan every year, mashallah, many years, I will, we hope to pray to Allah to give us more chance, inshallah. So, this getting hayat is ni'mah in hadith Rasulullah sallallahu said, Khairun nasi man ta'ala umruhu wa hasun amul. The best of people are those whose lives are long and deeds are good. Just long life is not good enough. Without your amal salihat increasing day by day. But if it is, mashallah, he's the best person, very fortunate, long life and continuous good deed and increasing and increasing and increasing. Even Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us a dua. Allahumma akfir mali wa waladi wa barik li fi ma atoytani wa atil hayati ala ta'atika wa ahsin amali wa aghfir li wa Allah increase my wealth and my children and bless in all you have given me and give me a long life to worship you long life to worship you not long life to enjoy more dunya to buy more houses and lands and a gather more wealth, long life, to worship you. And help me to do all that is good. So this is a dua Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaching us to, uh, to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to get a Ramadan, we should feel so happy. If Allah give us tawfiq, we should be uh, rejoicing. In, in, also in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهَ بِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلَيَفْرَحُونَ وَخَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ Say in the bounty of Allah and in His mercy, in that let them rejoice. It is better than what they accumulate. So, if the long life I am happy with because I will be getting more opportunity to get ibadah, to do ibadah, to be closer to Allah. And any occasion comes, any situation comes, and any opportunity comes, I, I am having, you know, chance to worship Allah more, to be more close to Allah. I am very happy. This is this is the name of the of the life. This is the main thing of the life. For that Allah has created us. I didn't create men and jinn except to worship me. This is the main thing. To buy one house and then another house. To buy a new car. All this, Alhamdulillah, halal name of fine. But that all secondary. The primary one, the main one, how close I am. If I'm called today, am I ready? Or I'll be just saying, well, Allah, give me a little bit of time. Give me a little bit of time. I know many of, many, some are very close to me. He and me together went to the hospital, different hospital in different country. He was praying something. Well, Allah, give me a little bit of extension of life so I can do sincere talk. I can increase my amal. When I was taken to hospital, I said same to Allah. Subhanallah. The other one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have chosen to take him. Hope, hope and pray Allah give him the status of shahada. And Allah left me behind. So this is every one of us. So when you see something is serious, we are serious. But when it goes away, we are again back to you know, normal life. Yes, for everybody, life is normal. For us, life is normal, but there is something serious in our life. We need to secure to die. When death will come, we are ready to Allah, to, to meet Allah. He will be pleased upon us.
he'll call us ya ayyatuhan nafs almutmainnah irja'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyya fadkhul fi ibadi wadkhul jannati am am i reached to that level that is the a seriousness in the mind of believer every day every month every year and to get most out of this ramadan first of all we need to continue to pray allah on balighna ramadan dua not to deprive us a few days left allah give us tawfiq give us tawfiq there we can get it if we get it then we'll appreciate allah's nema of gathering getting getting another ramadan we should be very thankful grateful to allah and we should ask allah tawfiq not only getting ramadan is nema getting tawfiq also is very important to get ramadan with the tawfiq of ibada tawfiq of you know getting closer to allah if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't give me tawfiq i get another 10 ramadan no big difference but if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and to get most out of ramadan this is we need to ask allah seriously and sincerely and for that we need to do some practical things number one we should have a strong will yes this ramadan i'm not going, going to consider like all previous ramadan of my life i'm very serious I have a good plan and routine. I don't I don't I do not make any compromise. And another sign of my seriousness, I'll be not doing any many normal work. For example, I give example. Delay all the work of your, you know, uh, life which is could be delayed little bit. Don't bring too much busyness for you in Ramadan time. Free yourself from many kind of engagement. I give example like you need to paint your house it is not something urgent and emergency you don't do this uh, plan uh, to do it in ramadan do it after ramadan i'm just giving you one example so many of the work we are engaged with i know you'll be doing your job you'll be doing your business that's fine but many other things we can delay to free time and energy to focus for ramadan ibadah that's the plan we need that is a sign of seriousness that will be accepted by allah as i am sincere of getting more out of this ramadan and i, I know uh, uh, as i said the, we need consistency uh, we need regularity some people mashallah they are very motivated in the beginning of ramadan mashallah masjid is full and after a few days they are dropping 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 in the middle mashallah half of the masjid is almost empty in the end mashallah again they are coming so this is a musibah okay so the best amal is the one the servant continue with that the spirit never comes down so that kind of a, a plan also should be in our you know preparation for ramadan uh, many things nowadays will occupy our time one of the mm, easiness in the life that we have the social media we have these mobile phones we are very easily can do mashallah many commun communication but the social media takes so much of our time and it is so attractive one taking the mobile phone only going through checking one message and then he'll be glued will be not coming out within few minutes he will never planned you go you went for five minutes and you'll be staying for half an hour that is attraction in ramadan be careful be aware of your every minute of the time yes it could be some, some of the important action things in social media for that bit fine but you have to be very cautious very aware very stingy of giving time to this kind of things because my ramadan time will be lost i know today many of our younger brothers came to pray probably a uh, school holiday so for the young children we need to prepare for ramadan sahaba used to make 
uh, children are fasting from early stage of their life. I know uh, some of the schools will cause some problem, but Alhamdulillah, from the 1400 history of Islam, uh, the children are fasting from early stage of the life. It never made their weak. It never made their health are affected. You try, have your strong will. Sahaba used to bring the children, uh, uh, you know, masjid in the as after asr time they will feel hungry. To make them there forget their hunger, would make some kind of arrangement to play in the masjid fire. To make them there busy so they will not say, oh, we need food. With that kind of struggle, they created the strongest people in the world. It never became weak. Those people who don't understand, I know, they'll go say, oh, this child, if you're fasting, you'll be very weak. Because they never tested the sweetness, halawat and iman. So how you manage with this, this another issue? But uh, at least weekend and other time, the children try to, inshallah, plan for Ramadan. And be careful, I know you children, are, you love so much these games, these uh, devices, either mobile phone or any other kind of device. Plan from now on that Ramadan time will be reciting more Quran, not all these things. So have a nice plan. Even from now on you try, now on you try. If you don't try now, you'll be not able to do anything in Ramadan. That's a month of Shaban, is preparation, whole month is preparation, and making yourself, you're ready when Ramadan comes, you are in full spirit. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim, wa nafa'ni wa ayyakum bima fihi min al-ayyati wa dhikri al-hakim, wa aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum, wa lisa'il muslimin min kulidhan bin fastaghfiru wa tubi ilayhi, innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim.